What's happening, everybody? I hope you're doing good. I see you. Thank you very much for stopping by once more. It's always a pleasure to discuss with you. You know, in a family setup, especially in Africa, we love talking to our brothers. We see you from all over the place. We know some of you were taken a long, long time ago. We still see you. We still respect you. We still love you. We still want to see you. Please come back home. You don't have to come forever. I mean, if you don't feel it, but just come. Come say hi. We want to see you. Doesn't matter where you go, whether it's Ghana, Uganda, Tanzania. It's up to you. South Africa. Beautiful places to see. So many things to offer in Africa. Jamaica, Tobago, United States of America, UK, all over the place. We see you. We love you. Okay, so before we start, this is your first time. Please feel free to join us. Click on the button, subscribe, so we can see each other very often. I'm sure we're going to love each other. And again, before we start, please let's all do this. Guys, why when I ask you to do this, you don't do this? I mean, this is frustrating. Come on, man. Let's do this. Let's be our own Joe Rogans and stuff with all due respect. Let's be our own voice. Let's make each other bigger so we can talk to each other. Let's all do this. Let's join first and do this. Okay. Great. So today we're talking about something very interesting. There is a very strong lady. I'm sure you heard about her. Naledi Pando of South Africa. She's a foreign minister. Lovely lady, very strong indeed, very respectable. She made a comment that infuriated many, many people across the world. Basically, she had a phone call with the leader of Hamas, and many people didn't like it. Hamas is a military group of Palestinians considered as terrorists by the European Union and the United Nations. Naledi Pando had a discussion with the leader of Hamas on a phone call, and many people felt that by having this phone call, she was supporting Hamas, supporting terrorism. South Africa foreign minister has been criticized for holding a phone call with the leader of Hamas just 10 days after the Palestinian military group launched a deadly attack on Israel. While the South African government has long expressed solidarity with the Palestinian people, a South African Jewish organization say the phone call can indicate that the minister support Hamas. Obviously, as you can see, South Africa is a beautiful country. It's um, very mixed. It has a lot of different type of people. You have Indians in South Africa. You have black people in South Africa. White people live in South Africa. Jewish people live in South Africa. Christians, Muslims, many different cultures live peacefully in South Africa. And obviously, as you can see, a group of Jewish people in South Africa came forward accusing Lady Pando of supporting the Hamas group, the terrorist group of Hamas. And after saying that, um, Pando confirmed. She said, yes, I spoke to them. She confirmed speaking to Hani, who is the leader of Hamas, and said the conversation was centered around humanitarian relief. So it wasn't a discussion about killing people. It wasn't a discussion about preparing anything deadly. It wasn't a support discussion. It was about hate. It was about helping the people of Gaza. Let's put it this way into perspective. Hamas is not Palestine. Palestinians are not all Hamas people. Hamas is a very specific group that is declared terrorist by the United Nations and the European Union. Hamas are people that are fighting with Israel. Palestinians are not all taking arms and weapons fighting Israelis. Absolutely not. So the bombing that's being done in Palestine, it is supposedly being bombing Hamas, not Palestinians. But unfortunately, millions of Palestinians are victims of this bombing. Okay, it's like they're attacking somebody around you who is supposedly Hamas, but you are a victim because he lives right in the middle of you guys. In the meantime, millions of Palestinians have been running away from their city, running away from their homes that are destroyed and bombed, looking to find a way out to the border of Egypt. And Egypt has refused to open its border because obviously, I mean, if you open your border to a flying population, what do you expect is going to happen in your country? It's going to be havoc in your own country. And Egypt is going through a very difficult time right now. They don't need to add any more to that. So Naledi Pando has been criticized for having a phone call with the Hamas leader. And she says the reason why she had a phone call with this person, it's because of humanitarian aid. They're looking to help people of Palestine. Fikile Mbalula of um, the ANC, he's the leader of the ANC. ANC is the um, national party of Nelson Mandela and Winnie Mandela. Fikile Mbalula is now the president. He made a comment saying, anyone who wants to transport aid to Gaza has to speak to Hamas. Now Lady Pando did nothing wrong. She's doing a job. If we want to send things now to Gaza, 
Who are you going to talk to? You must talk to Hamas. And then she's been insulted left and right. She did so. There's nothing wrong she's doing. She's doing a job. I mean, you want to help people in Gaza who are mostly innocent. Okay, beside Hamas people, obviously. There are women and children that have done absolutely nothing. And these people obviously need help. They need water. They need electricity. They need food. They need medical aid. In order for humanitarian people to reach to those people that are guarded by terrorists, Hamas, what do you need to do? You have to communicate with them. You are obliged to do so. You cannot go through Palestine or Gaza or help anybody without talking to Hamas. You have to talk to Hamas. And this is diplomatic. So Malula said it is unrealistic to expect to help people of Gaza without speaking to Hamas. You have to talk to Hamas. And the reason why Naledi Pondo was talking to the leader of Hamas, it's not because she supports the act or the deed of Hamas on Israel, which is absolutely not good, absolutely re repellent, which is absolutely repellent, unacceptable. It is not okay to destroy human life, innocent people, in the name of religion. It is not okay to do that. It is not okay to take out lives because you have a certain belief against people who have done absolutely nothing wrong to you. It is not okay to do that. And Fikir Mbalula say Naledi Pondo was not supporting Hamas by taking the phone call. Because apparently the Hamas leader called Fikir Mbalula, who is the foreign minister of South Africa, wanting to discuss. And she accepted to talk to him. But does that mean she supports them? No. As a diplomatic person, as a diplomatic leader, as a foreign minister, it is just absolutely normal to listen and hear what people have to say. But she maintains that her primary goal was help to the people of Gaza, not support to the people of Hamas. The Sepando and Hamas leader discuss on how to get the necessary humanitarian aid to Gaza and other parts of Palestinian territory. The report that Minister Pondo also offered support to Hamas are untrue and meant to bring a bad reputation to the government of South Africa. Okay, fellas, let's put it onto perspective. When these things started, Many African countries were divided, okay? Some countries supporting the Palestinians and other countries supporting Israel. South Africa supported the Palestinians and you can understand why because South Africa was a country that lived with apartheid for many years. For many years, black South Africans could not enjoy the country like they do today. Black people could not marry white people. Black people and white people could not eat in the same restaurant. Blacks and whites could not use the same toilet. Being a person that was born in such country, it is easily to feel related to somebody that looks oppressed in a situation. And this is the very case of South Africa. South Africa supported Palestine. Kenya supported Israel. Congo and other countries supported Israel. The South African people feel that Israel is an apartheid country, dominating into a land that doesn't necessarily belong to them. In the meantime, other people feel like Israel has to defend itself because they also have equally the right to those lands. Again, it is very important to clarify here. Israel has issues with Hamas. Hamas is the armed group of people that tend to defend Palestine, sometimes for their own purposes. It is very necessary to separate those two entities. Palestine is not Hamas. Israel was accused a couple of days ago of bombing an hospital in Palestine, which is not acceptable. Even in war, wars have rules. You cannot bomb an hospital. You cannot touch innocent people, women, children, unarmed people. You cannot do that. You have to engage against people that are armed, or that are dangerous, not an hospital. Israel said they did not bomb an hospital. The hospital was bombed by Hamas. Joe Biden confirmed saying he saw satellite imagery that confirms that Israel did not bomb the hospital. The Russian says Israel need to show proof that they didn't bomb an hospital. Who's telling the truth? Who's lying? That's a big question. Again, here, fellas, Naledi Pondo had a call with Hamas, leader, as per her and her office. It was a call for humanitarian aid. It has nothing to do with support of actions of Hamas. So the humanitarian aid was not for Hamas. The humanitarian aid, as per Naledi Pondo's office, was for the people of Palestine, the innocent people that are victims of this situation, the mothers, the children, the elderly, was she within the right to have a phone call? Is it okay to have a phone call in a diplomatic setup without necessarily being bashed and insulted and accused of terrorism? The big question is here. Has America never discussed with terrorists or so-called terrorists? Have they never had any discussion, any arrangement, 
any let's talk about this situation with people that are called terrorists by other people. I think in many instances they have. Not just America, many other countries have discussed with what they call terrorists for their own personal interest. So for your own interest, you can discuss with terrorists. Okay. But when it's for other people, then you shouldn't do that because it's unacceptable. And I think you just need to look through history to see responses, answers to these questions. Was she right to talk to these people? Is it okay to care for people of Palestine, even though Hamas is doing horrendous things against Israel? Is it okay to take care of these people, to send them medication? Can Palestinians still be looked as human beings that need help, that need food, that need water, in spite of whatever happening between them and Israel? Or is it okay to say, you know what, just bomb them and finish them? Because they're all terrorists anyway. Let me know how you feel about this. It's always a great pleasure to exchange with you. Please leave a comment. We need you to do that. I need you to encourage me into doing this. If you're not reacting, it's very discouraging. You know, I feel like you don't like it. That's why I bring you Will Smith, because you don't seem like you like it. So if you don't like it, then I might just focus on other things. You know what I mean? I'm not, yeah, I'm not, you know, I'm threatening you. I actually, I actually am threatening you. <laughs> I love you guys, you know, I like this, it's, it's great, but we need to communicate. It's not about me, you know, pouring out ideas. We need to exchange so we can grow. And that's the only way you move forward. We need to think together. Was Naledi Pondo right to do what she did? Can she talk to a so-called Hamas leader in order to help people that are innocent in a country? Or is it unacceptable? You have to destroy everybody in the same token. God bless.